was set up. Um, the choir has always been a permanent feature in the Joseph Kalea Summer Concert. Um, what can you tell us about this choir, the number of children, um, the range of ages? Well, the core of the choir has pretty remained the same over the years. We have a, a nice number of students, of children who come back year after year. Some of them are children anymore because they're, you know, they've been here almost since the first edition. Some of them, so it's nice to have a core who know the routine, know how the whole thing is going to work. So they they kind of lead the new members every year. We get a good influx of new students, younger ones, and from the age of seven upwards. And um, so the ones who've been here before can really guide them and and, and help them to, you know, understand what's needed as well, the kind of discipline as well. They can, they can follow, they can see how disciplined the others are and they follow suit. For this year, when did the auditions and rehearsals start? How does it work out? Well, this year we started about um, two weeks ago. This is our fourth rehearsal today, so we usually start six weeks or so before the actual concert. It's quite an intense rehearsal period. I don't believe in long spread out rehearsals so the rehearsal period is very short, very intense but get a lot of work done like that. And how does the, the regime work? I mean as you say it's going to be quite intense. Yes. How does it work out? It's, I'm, I'm, I'm quite strict. I mean I, I like to keep rehearsals quite short as well because they're children, some of them are very young, seven years old so obviously you know, attention spans <laughs> after a yeah. while it goes and the music isn't easy so they have to learn harmonies and things so you can't have too long a rehearsal again because after a certain period you lose them and it's pointless having a long rehearsal so I just make sure as soon as say we start at half six bang on the dot of half six I start and I don't stop till the rehearsal ends really so they have no time to chat or lose concentration so I'm very strict with them so <laughs> <laughs> keep them all <laughs> they're going to meet the Mode of Ceremonic Orchestra yes. as well, yes. uh, which is quite a big thing for them. For and sure. then Joseph Calle and the Predators. Yes. How, do, how do they react usually? They love it. I mean, some of them ask me from the very first rehearsal, when are we going to meet the orchestra? When are the singers coming? You know, so especially if they have a particular favourite singer who's coming that year, if there's somebody that they really, you know, admire, they just keep asking when are they coming to rehearsal, so I'll tip thank you <laughs> to, to rein them in. That, that usually happens two days before the two rehearsals before the concert. Um, we meet up with the MPO and Joseph and all the singers. So the actual rehearsal time with the artists and the MPO is very short. So that's why they have to be really drilled well before they get to that stage because they have to really know what they're doing. There's no time for repeating, it's just, just do it. <laughs> <laughs>